For today's project, I am making a challenge coin holder in the shape of Missouri. The display will incorporate a plexiglass box that will rotate so the custom made challenge coin can be displayed on both sides. I started the project out by gluing a few cedar boards into a single plank. Once the glue was dried, I sanded it down. I printed out an outline of the state of Missouri to the size that I needed and taped it to the cedar plank using painter's tape. I then cut the outline out using a jigsaw. Once the shape was cut out, I used a sander and then a file to smooth out the edges and clean the ends up. Now that I had the shape that I wanted, I used the ruler to mark out where I wanted to route out the challenge coin grooves. I measured for 2 inch spacing between each row. Once all of my measurements were double checked, I measured the distance between my router bit and the edge of the router. I then clamped the straight edge to that distance on each side. Using the straight edge as a guide, I ran the edge of the router along it to route out a straight groove. I repeated the process of measuring and moving the straight edge until each groove was done. I left a gap in the middle of the state between two grooves to accommodate for the plexiglass box that will hold the custom challenge coin.
The next step was to outline the coin for the plexiglass box and holder. I forgot to record the process I used to make the box and the plexiglass display. In short, I cut out the shape of the coin from one piece of plexiglass using a drill press and jigsaw. I placed the coin inside the cutout and put a piece of plexiglass on each side to sandwich the coin in. I made a small wooden frame around the plexiglass to hold it together. I put two screws in the bottom piece of the frame so it could be removed and the coin taken out. In the center of the bottom piece of the frame, I drilled a hole and glued a dowel rod into the bottom of the frame. The dowel rod will be inserted into a small hole that I drilled in the middle of the display and that's where the gap was left in between the coin grooves. To allow for the display box to turn, I did not place glue on the dowel rod that was inserted into the shape of Missouri. On this part of the display box build, I am measuring where I'm going to cut the plexiglass where the framing will cover up. I cut the final dimensions with my miter saw. This is what the final box looked like. I used a tongue and groove system to build the box and keep it together. Here is a demonstration on how the coin box rotates. To finish off this display, I used a medium dark wood stain and spray polyurethane. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Also find me on Facebook at 816 Woodworks. Thank you.